Hey guys, I'm Mert here. So today we're going to analyze our, our playing, especially when it comes down to speed and moving around the drum kit. Um, so let, let's start with a simple fill. So what I did is I took the left hand away and analyzed what, what uh, actually each of my hand is doing here. And you, you can take this as, your, uh, as an advantage when you practice. Um, so, uh, you know, scale training for drummers basically is when, when, when you think of a piano player uh, practicing scales up and down, that, that word of speed. Uh, piano players don't just do this with one hand and leave the other hand out. They, they practice it with both hands and um, quite often simultaneous uh, scales up and down, things like that. Um, so you, you, can, you can use the same approach on the drum kit to develop speed and accuracy. So basically when, when I play the simple fill, what my right hand is doing, it places two strokes on each of the drums and finishes off with uh, one stroke on the, on the crash cymbal here. Um, so the way I approach in developing speed is uh, I, I practice this with both hands, but not at the same time, but one after another. So I, I would uh, practice it once with my right hand. This teaches you a lot about uh, the proper positioning, dynamics, um, uh, rebound uh, in, in a different way than using both uh, six at, at the same time. It just lets you focus on, on more like the details of your movement and that really helps in, in building a great found foundation for accuracy and, and later on speed. Um, so as uh, for, for exercises, um, I think it's a great way to start with uh, four strokes on each hand. And then just come up with, with some, some basic combinations. Uh, um, so let's say we, we play four with the right, four with the left. I'm going to place them like this here, snare drum, and then uh, three toms. You can do this for like a minute or so and then turn it around, go the other way. Yeah, simple stuff, mi mixing it up, um, you know, uh, backwards, uh, whatever you can come up with. Is, it's uh, The thing is you're... Once you approach the drum kit like, like this, and, and I have to say these are great, great warm-up exercises. If you do this five, ten minutes before a gig or, or even a, a practice session, it's really going to en enhance your playing. It's really going to warm up your all your muscles and your wrist fingers. Um, uh, so, uh, well, I wanted to say something, now I forgot. <laughs> Let's come up with a different combination here. Let's incorporate uh, Crash Symbol again. So uh, usually when, whenever I, I approach the kit like this, uh, when I hit the crash cymbals, the hi-hat, uh, right cymbal, whatever, uh, I usually kick the bass drum at the same time. So uh, let, let's try this combination. So once you get uh, started with this process, you're going to come up with tons of ideas. 
And the thing is, uh, it kind of opens a lot of doors because you, you're going to try things you've never tried before. That you're going to go certain ways um, you've, you've never gone before because uh, the, the thing is when, you know, as a right hand player, when you practice with both hands, usually what happens is your left hand is always going to be following your right hand. It's just like a, you know, a little puppy following the, the older dog all the time. Um, so, and it, it kind of, you, you're going to find yourself going the same ways all the time, like playing the same old, old fields. So if you break it up like this, start analyzing, you're going to come up with new ideas and it, it, it's really going to help you. It's, it's going to help you to grow your repertoire. Plus, uh, like I mentioned earlier, it's going to help you with speed, accuracy, all these things. Uh, so, you know, the last thing I played, you, you, if you have two crash symbols here um, and you try something like this, you, you're going to might uh, find yourself thinking like, wow, actually, I've, I've never uh, did that movement actually with my left hand, you know, crash here, two toms, um, finishing off with a crash on the right side. And that, that's what I really like about, about this approach. Uh, you can, uh, let, let, let's say we're, we're going from the right to the left. That, that's uh, something I really like doing because uh, quite often um, that is really something you, you, wouldn't, you wouldn't have tried before. So let, let's try this combination here. Of course, you can also use uh, longer stretches. It doesn't have to be four strokes per uh, each hand. You can you can do something like this. I started to improvise there a little bit. Just some random, random ideas. So it could be six strokes per hand. It could be eight strokes per hand. It, uh, it, it doesn't really matter. Uh, you, you can also try things like just going back and forth between two drums. Like uh, let's say, um, let's put two on the floor tom, one on the snare drum, and then uh, again two on the floor, one on the snare. <laughs> Yeah, so like I said, um, g give it a try. Uh, use it as a warm up maybe before you before you practice five minutes every day. Um, I I'm I'm very sure you're gonna come up with your with your own ideas and really cool ideas. Uh, it it's gonna it's gonna bring more attention to your to your uh, weaker sides of playing. you you're, you're gonna find yourself. You're gonna be capable of playing with the with the right hand a certain sequence. And then you try it with the left hand and you're totally going to fail because you actually never went over to the far floor tom or what, whatever you're going to come up with. Um, so you're, you're going to find your, your weak spots uh, and that's always important to focus on your weak spots. And uh, well, I, I, hope, I hope it's going to be fun to experiment with that. I'm, I'm very sure if you spend some uh, serious time with that, it's, it's going gonna, it's gonna to make you a better drummer. Okay, see you in my next video. Take care.